Okay guys, here we go. Updated makeup collection organization video. This is long overdue and um, let's get right into it because this is going to be a long video. So what you're looking at is the Alex Ikea unit and um, I've had this for a while. I know that a lot of gurus have it on YouTube but I've had it for years and um, to the left of that is some Sterlite containers and let's start with the IKEA Alex unit in the top drawer these are all concealers mascaras brow products face primers that sort of thing all different brands and by the way, before I forget, if there's anything that you see in this video today that you want more information on, you want me to do a video about a specific thing, um, leave it in the comment section and maybe I will do a review about whatever it is that you're interested in. Okay, now in the next drawer are foundations. And... Um, you can see there's all different kinds here and um, yep so that's foundations and then this next drawer are bronzers and highlighters and this next drawer is all NYX I felt so bad when they discontinued their square pot eyeshadows because I really love those so I had gone out and gotten a bunch of them at that time those are all those ones in the back there and then these round matte ones I think those might be on their way to being discontinued too um, those they're, they're good and they come in a nice selection of colors but the formula is kinda iffy on those but I really like those square pot ones. And then I have um, some palettes. Those are three of the new baked eyeshadows. Those are um, a little tricky to work with. They work really well if you use them wet, but I don't really like to use my eyeshadows wet, but that's how they worked, work best. And then I have a couple of the Love and Rio palettes. Those are nice. And then I just have one pigment, which I've already used uh, most of it to m combine with a Maybelline color tattoo to adjust the color on my bad to the bronze. That's this pigment is in iced mocha, so I just dump that in there with some Fix Plus and stir it up and change the color. <laughs> okay, this next drawer is um, Wet and Wild, and. This is like going way back. Egyptian Sands, Mega Eyes. So I've been collecting Wet n Wild for quite a while now. And like I've said before, you don't really have to worry about powder products. I've never had a problem with powder products going bad. So I mainly only purged um, lip glosses, lipsticks, cream eyeshadows, that sort of thing when I did my purge this year. Once a year I go through and just get rid of the oldest stuff that it's probably not safe to use anymore. This next drawer is Maybelline, CoverGirl, and in the back, these are Barry M pigments. I had placed a huge order with them one time and didn't seem like it was that bad. And then after everything was done with the order and I pressed submit, then they converted it into American dollars and I almost had a heart attack because <laughs> I I didn't think it was going to be that bad when they were showing it to me in British pounds and then they converted it and I was like yikes so I haven't placed another order but I was on their website the other day and um, they only had like three or four colors on this so I don't know does anybody know are they discontinuing the dazzle dust do you know because those are really nice that would be such a shame if they did that Okay, and in this next drawer, I have like this insert thing on top, and I've got L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I love those. These right here are the Almay 
the new ones. I don't really like those too much. The powder palettes, though, I do like. That's an old, old L'Oreal palette. If I was going to get rid of anything, I should probably get rid of that. That's getting up there. This is a limited edition L'Oreal palette. These are some of the Wear Infinite singles, and those are actually pretty good. I just got those recently at a Dollar Tree, but they're not bad. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I just realized I've got stuff underneath there i got to show you. In this basket right here, this is all Essence. I've got a couple of palettes and then a couple of duos and some singles. This basket right here, by the way, these baskets are just inexpensive things from uh, Dollar Tree. This basket is a mishmash of everything. Physician's Formula, uh, Jordana, Ulta, Milani, um, this is when the Kardashians were calling their company Chroma Beauty when it first came out. I love this palette. I'm so glad that I got this when I did because now that they've changed everything, they don't make this one anymore. And that was really good. I've got my Aziza palette in there. So just, you know, a mishmash of a bunch of drugstore type things in that drawer. And let's see, this is now my lip gloss drawer. And as you can see, there's not really that many lip glosses there. Um, I've got MAC, NARS, Jordana, Clarins, Rimmel, Catrice, Urban Decay. And then back here I have NYX, L'Oreal, Neutrogena, Black Radiance, Revlon, Maybelline, Ulta, Smashbox, Elme, and Essence. I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to buy lip glosses anymore and just use what I have because I don't really find that I use it all the time. I just use it once in a while, so I don't wanna have to keep, you know, throwing them away. So yeah, that's what I've got for lip glosses. And then in this bottom drawer I have all my lipsticks. I do pretty much wear lipsticks every day. If I don't wear a lipstick, I usually wear one of those jumbo lip pencil things which I'll show you in a minute those are in another location but these are all my lipsticks you can see the MAC ones in the front here and then I've got um, L'Oreal, Estee Lauder, CoverGirl, NYX, Revlon, Wet n Wild, Maybelline, uh, Clarins, Lacura, um, Burberry, NARS, Rimmel, and Elf, and Catrice. These are baby lips right here. So those are my lipsticks. Then in that Sterlite container that was next to the Ike Alex Ikea unit, in this bottom drawer here, I have drugstore blushes. And um, these uh, NYC blushable cream sticks, I didn't throw these out because these aren't like the originals from when they were in stores. These are brand new ones that I had found at Dollar Tree that were completely sealed, so some of these I haven't even used yet. I just uh, felt so bad they discontinued those because they were so nice. These are my high-end blushes. MAC, NARS, Benefit, Illamasqua, and Tarte. This is more drugstore blushes. Maybelline, NYX, um... Milani, CoverGirl, um, Wet n Wild, Revlon. This drawer right here is all Revlon eyeshadows. I have palettes and singles that don't even exist anymore, and then I have, you know, the newer things like the Shadow Links. They're okay, but, I mean, they could be better, but, you know, drugstore, good drugstore eyeshadows are hard to find. I think probably NYX, Physicians Formula, and uh, Wet n Wild are probably the best. These are all eyeshadows from um, countries that we can't get here, such as Sleek, Isadora, Bourgeois, Catrice, Seventeen, Lacura, Makeup Atelier, um, Makeup Academy, Accessorize, you know, stuff like that. 
And I got most of these either as a gift from my friend June or in a swap with my friend June. Or I placed an order myself with the company and had it shipped overseas. So, um, yeah. I mean, when you're interested in makeup, you're going to be curious about things that, you know, brands that you don't even really know that much about. So it's been a lot of fun playing around with these. I have to admit, I don't use these um, as often as I probably would like to because I feel funny showing and using things that you guys can't get. You know, it makes me feel kind of bad. So if I use these, I tend to use them on the weekends when I'm not making videos, although I did make some videos this past weekend, which is unusual. This drawer is Sonia Kashuk and Elf. Um, I buy both those brands at Target, and uh, so I just kind of figured I would lump them together in this drawer. And this drawer is small, high-end palettes such as Bay Minerals, Stila, Philosophy, Tarte, Lancome, and Inglot. I wish we'd get an Inglot counter around here. I got those um, on my trips to Las Vegas because they have an Inglot boutique out there. These are the larger palettes like Lorac, Urban Decay, Smashbox, Trina Tarantino, and Bare Minerals. This drawer has high-end singles. Bare Minerals, Urban Decay, Estee Lauder, Sephora, Laura Mercier, Burberry, Bobbi Brown, Stila, and Makeup Forever. This drawer has um, powders, pressed powders, loose powders, all different brands, high-end, drugstore, everything. This drawer has lip treatment products in the front that are like backups, and these are all my makeup brushes that I don't use every day. I switch them out a lot of times. I'll, I'll show you more in, about the makeup brushes in a minute. And then this top drawer is like a junk drawer. I think the only thing in there is uh, a backup Blistex. The rest of it is just, just all kinds of junk that you probably wouldn't be interested in. Okay, so now we're going to go over here where my table is. And... I have these little tiny Sterlite drawers. This is where I keep all my cream eyeshadows that I use like as a colored base. In the top drawer are pencil type items like NYX Jumbo eye pencils, um, CoverGirl, Neutrogena, and then I have like a, one of those new Squeeze CoverGirl eyeshadows, uh, Revlon cream palette, that sort of thing. Then I have uh, cream eyeshadows in here. I have Flower, MAC Paint Pots, Makeup Forever, Tom Ford, Bobbi Brown, Tarte, Laura Mercier, a couple of MAC Paints, and a Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow. These are the new Maybelline Color Tattoos from the new Dare to Go Nude collection that I've been talking about a lot lately. These are from... The Maybelline Color Tattoo Limited, bleh, limited Edition from last, last spring. So this was last year's colors for the spring collection. These are the Maybelline Color Tattoos from this year's fall collection. And there's a couple of e.l.f. cream eyeshadows, a Catrice cream eyeshadow, and an Ulta cream eyeshadow. And then these are the Maybelline color tattoos that are in the permanent line. Then I have this, like, Lazy Susan type thing, but really what it is is it's an office organizer, and I just use it to put some makeup brushes in the top. And then the things that I use on a daily basis, like... My Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer that I'm using as an eyeshadow primer and like my eye cream, my Benefit Their Real Mascara, my Benefit Ooh La Lift, 
I've been using the L'Oreal True Match foundation a lot lately, so and I mix these two colors together because I'm kind of in between right now. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, I use that pretty much every day. This is that new uh, Art Deco palette that I showed you recently, and the Revlon Highlighting Palettes. The Maybelline Master Highlight Palette. My NYX Eyebrow Kit. Just some pens. And then I have an EOS lip balm, uh, the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. I've been using this instead of using the L'Oreal Anti-Redness thing lately. Just kind of trying that out. This I just got yesterday. This is, I did another um, Back to Mac thing. I had six more containers and I, you know, just finished the purge. This is, um... Max Knob lipstick. It's not showing up true in color on camera, but it's like a blue based pink. I had this before and I wanted to get it again because I missed it. And I didn't have to pay for it because I used back to Mac things. Okay, I deep clean the brushes that I use every single day. So these are the ones that I used yesterday and will be using in a few minutes. I have a couple beauty blender sponges there. I don't use those every day, but I do like to use them sometimes. And then in this glass, I just keep uh, Q-tips, a nail file, a small pair of scissors, and a sharpener. Back there is some Max, Mac Fix Plus and Mac um, makeup remover. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not makeup remover, brush cleaner. But I don't really spot clean my brushes very often. That's like if I really have to get out the door quick for something. Then that's just a little container of Vaseline. This is like um, an office organizer type thing. And I just keep my eye pencils and my lip pencils in here. It's just nice to be able to fish through them more easily. And then I have a couple of cream eyeliners down here. A Wet n Wild gel liner and a Maybelline liquid liner. I hardly ever use those, but it's nice to have the option to play with. And this is just the refill for my Estee Lauder Fig Lip Pencil. And this is something I almost never talk about. I keep these next to me on the table, too. This is um, Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat and Sally Hansen uh, hard as nails strengthener yeah strengthener which is what I use for a base coat and I just keep these on the table here next to me when I want to do my nails I definitely cannot include my nail polish collection in this video because it's just too large and I have not been able to figure out how the heck to film that uh, if you could see it you know what I'm talking about because the amount that I have is just ridiculous, and I admit it. <laughs> um, so if I can ever figure out how to refilm an updated version of that, I will. But yeah, that's, that is my makeup collection. The bulk of it is in these two things right here, though. Oh, oh, I forgot something. Oh gosh, I forgot all this. My MAC eyeshadows. They're all in palettes. They're all um, the pan form ones. And then I have them by color here. And I have this MAC Sculpting Powder and Sculpt. And I've got an empty container. I'm going to put all my favorite MAC eyeshadows in this one container. And then I'll be doing a video about my favorite MAC eyeshadows. And then I forget about this. And I love these. This is just uh, like a plastic container from the container store. This is all my jumbo lip pencils. All different brands. You know, Jordana, Tarte, Revlon, Clinique, Neutrogena, NYC, Rimmel, you name it. Got a, you know, a couple of each. And then these lipsticks won't fit in my lipstick holder that I showed you before. This is a Guerlain, that's a Tom Ford, and that's an Urban Decay. And then these are the L'Oreal Le Lac and Le Mats that came out at Target a few months ago. I love these, and I sh really should wear them more often. This is a Buxom lipstick. I don't really care for that, so <laughs> I don't really wear it. And these are all the Milani HD lipsticks. And, um... 
I had found those at Dollar Tree a few months ago. So that is it. That That's the end of it. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.